Get ready for the crowds if you're not hosting Thanksgiving at home. Experts say this could be a record year for flying or driving. WGN's Judy Wang talked to some holiday travelers as they head out of town. O'Hare Terminal 1, Sunday morning. I'm going home, Houston, Sugarland. Warmer, yes, warmer than this. Thousands of travelers already on their way to their Thanksgiving getaways. We're going to uh, Naples, Florida to golf for three days. I love the chaos. Yeah. yeah. Love traveling through the holidays. AAA predicts about 55 and a half million people will travel this week. That's more than last year. That is one of the highest Thanksgiving forecasts since the organization started tracking the numbers. A majority of travelers will drive to their destinations with gas prices nationwide tumbling fast. If the trend continues, gas could be the cheapest since Thanksgiving 2020. This is an incredible joy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. Yeah, I feel really good about it. We couldn't go anywhere and now we can all go, except that it's a little bit crowded right now. So the TSA is bracing for record numbers. It projects one million people will pass through checkpoints at O'Hare and Midway. Busiest days to fly, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday. My flight was late in Portland, so I missed my flight here, and then I had to spend the night in Chicago, and now I'm back, but I'm in good spirits. I fly a lot, but I am a little nervous about getting home, so fingers crossed. I think traveling is kind of chaotic any time of year, so it's nice. You get to kind of trade the uh, preparing for Thanksgiving for preparing for going somewhere. And you're going? Disney. Do you want to princesses? Yeah, besides for the princesses, I'd really fly for that. <laughs> At O'Hare, Judy Wang, WGN News.